<laughs> okay, hi, hello, uh, my name is Ken. Um, okay, just to liven things up, how many of you guys use code pen? Raise your hands. Okay, okay. How many has the pro account? <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> no, 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 I don't, I don't. No, no, I don't, I don't. So, no, but it's just to get things... So if there's a pro account, I'll just follow straight away. There's no need to talk about it. Yeah, so, um, this is me. I love CSS, not because it's talk CSS, but because I truly love CSS. I love uh, color gradients, I love skeuomorphism, uh, things like that. So, I also... Uh, belong to a group called Minor Dinosaur. <coughs> so uh, what Minor Dinosaur do is basically we study JavaScript, we study CSS, we try out, and we basically have sessions almost like every weekend, Saturday. We try to like uh, help, help each other. If we have problems with CSS, JS, we just come together and we just try to help each other. We also have a sub-channel under Copitium that also um, tries to solve any problem via chat. That's just how cool it is. Usually we have Chris who is there to give suggestions on how to solve problems. Yeah, and yep, so that is a self-introduction. Okay, why I'm speaking here today is because also quite uh, related to Milo Dinosaurs because when we first started out, we were trying to find out is there a platform for us to post questions. Usually we post questions, we write, but it's too hard to explain. So we need something like JS Fiddle to put our codes up. But just we we didn't choose it because it looks kind of plain, kind of whitish. I love code pen and we love code pen because of the color and the various um, functionalities that it provides on the interface. Which I will do a since all of you guys are code pen users so I don't need to orientate you guys. How I use code pen work I use code pen and work for various small little uh, demos. Because the thing is we Okay, so I work at SPH, so there's a lot of things over there that need CSS and JS. And okay, I shan't talk about JS, but CSS, there's a lot of things that requires our users to actually, um, or our supervisors to look at, okay, is the color right? Is the timing right? We know CSS, there's the animation timing, so uh, transition delay and all these things. So we put it on code pen for ease of discussion. So this is how we use code pen at work. And because there's also what you see here. Okay, I'm using less, of course, um, that's kind of obsolete now, but, um, well, we use, uh, the thing is, instead of like having to ins NPM install some less modules to, you know, pass, pre-process our uh, less files, I can just use CodePen and pre-process it for me. And, you know, I could just share it with my fellow colleagues. So this is how I use it at work. App Play, so there you go, this is the, I know that so. <laughs> okay. Which you'll see later. Um, I use it, so this is uh, based on the discussion that we had on the previous talk CSS. And yeah, things like that. So I'll show you guys uh, because no um, demo, it's fun without the actual, you know, demonstration. So this is some of the things I did. Of course, um, you know, swipe left, swipe right, things like that. Uh, this is what we did at Milo Dance also. Things like um, just trying out CSS, just trying out JS and, you know, animating stuff. Okay, now for the most important thing. So late last night, I was, I was actually kind of lost what to present today. And I remember I'm from Milo Dance, so I decided, okay, I have code pen. What can I do? Let's try a simple pixel art generator. So basically I code using simple HTML, CSS, and I can just choose, like for example, it's a five color theme, so I can just, you know, create pixel art from code pen. Okay. And like, you know. Okay, the reason being, reason being why I created this was also that I could create something like this. I needed something straight away that I could just add a change of one HTML class and run it. I could bring, do I have internet connection? No, I don't have. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. Is there internet connection here?
<laughs> okay, okay. Sorry for this moment when it tried to run. Yep. I could bring my Milo dinosaur to life with simple CSS. You know? So that's how awesome CSS is. And SVG is, of course, because this is SVG. And yeah, this is what I do for fun. Uh, so, yeah, so do use CodePen and um, do share because basically what I like about CodePen actually is also a very nice place for inspiration. So if I were to add the CodePen. So one of the nice things which we don't get at JS Fiddle is big pens and like you can see all the awesome things that people are doing on Coke Pen, which I guess you guys know. <laughs> because I basically I, I spend at least one hour every day at least trying going next to next and trying to find out, get inspiration from there. It could be fun, it could be for work. Yeah. So let me go back to my slides. So all in all, I just want to thank Coke Pen for this awesome interface, web interface that Chris you Koya, um Chris Koya, you built and um yep. Use it today. And thank you, you guys are awesome. <laughs>